Hi everybody! I just wanted to first off thank you for watching my video. I am super super happy with how this bird cage turned out. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from dollar stores and uh, thrift stores and just kind of had some fun and made the bird cage. I absolutely love it. Um, so first off I want to thank um, a woman by the name of Fiona Jennings. On YouTube she is under uh, her channel is Jennings 644 I saw her paint a bird the other day and it totally gave me the idea to do this it was great I loved it so thank you to Fiona for that um, I will post a link to her channel um, in the description if I can figure out how to do it so the first thing I'm doing here right now is just putting a nice thick coat of gesso on the bird so I can change the color of it. Alright, so now I am putting some gesso on a uh, steel wire cage. I actually bought this at Michael's, I think it was, uh, it was only two or three dollars in these, um, but it was, I, I know I bought it after I um, had got the bird and I bought it specifically for that bird um, so I know I wanted to use it it was the perfect size the problem was it was brand new and shiny and silver and I didn't want it to look like that I did want it to have a bit of an aged look to it so I put a coat of gesso over it um, just to start and then I took my sprays and I started spraying a couple of different colors. I used a couple shades of gray, um, a beigey color, um, and a little bit of the light pink that I used. Um, I used those co the same colors on the bird when I color the bird as well. So the whole project's kind of with those three colors, like the beigey creamy color, a couple shades of gray, and the pink. Um, the cage actually took the color really well with the gessoed spots. I really, really love how it turned out. Very, very happy with that. Um, it didn't take long to do it at all. Okay, what I am doing right here is pretty much just spraying another couple sprays of one of my mists just to pretty much get the metal wet. And then I'm taking an embossing enamel. It's made by Stampendous. It is, um, it's awesome. It's called, it, the color is aged ivory and it has flecks of different colors in it. It has like the white, it has the cream, and it has these goldy bronzy, um, kind of, they almost look like mica frag. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's fantastic. I love it. It will give you that older, look to whatever you put it on so you spray it to get it wet and then just sprinkle it on and heat set it and it worked great on the metal um, it stuck no problem the only real issue was you couldn't when I was heating it I couldn't really tell after it was melted um, if you if you stamp an image and put embossing powder on it you can see when it melts and on the metal you couldn't really tell so it was kind of hit or miss so I did have to go back over some spots um, a couple times to get it you know just scattered places just to make the cage look a little bit older but I'm really really happy on how that turned out all right now I am just using those same color sprays, spraying the bird, heating up to heat set it a little bit. Um, I found the sprays um, dried very quickly. Um, the bird I think was made of styrofoam with almost a canvas or burlap type uh, wings and tail. So he, he actually took the color really good. Um, I just wanted soft light colors on him. Um, I liked how he turned out with the sprays. I do, however, later on in the video, go back and add some paint just to bring out the pink a little bit more on him.
the next step I did is I needed something for the bottom of the cage. Um, I was watching on YouTube a couple of weeks ago a video by Miranda Edney, uh, Miss Liberty, and she used this Spanish moss, which is usually used for floral arrangements and stuff. And I thought that was a great idea. I went and got it at Walmart, sprayed it uh, in the gray tones because I didn't want that green in too much. And that it, it turned out really good when I was done. Just kind of tossed it up a little bit and it looked great. I'm now taking just some feathers I bought at the dollar store and they were bright, bright, bright pink. So just taking my gray spray, spraying them to tone down the pink in them and add some of that gray. This next part, all I'm doing is I had picked up some uh, lace. I think it was from the thrift store. And originally there was a bright red ribbon threaded, threaded through this and I definitely didn't want red so I pulled that out and I'm just threading um, a pale pink ribbon through there which let me tell you it was very frustrating it did not want to go through I taped the end of it so it would be easier and it was still deciding to be a bit finicky with that did eventually get it done um, and then I just uh, hot glued it down to the bottom of the birdcage just weaving it in and out um, you will see I glue a little bit and then I snip um, the edge of the ribbon on the on the outside so that it still hangs down um, around the bottom as the trim and it's not getting folded up and caught up there. I uh, really love how the ribbon turned out. So while I've got a couple minutes here and you guys are watching me do what I'm doing here, I just wanted to say that I can't really... Um, record and talk while I'm recording. My craft room unfortunately is kind of uh, the through way where everybody likes to run through and make noise. I have three kids so more often than not I have one of them in here, at least one of them in here with me while I'm trying to make things. Um, and then at night there's also sound and that sort of thing. So this is why I'm doing the voiceover. Um, I don't really like listening to my voice but I did want to explain verbally the process of some of the things that I did do to the birdcage so I didn't want to just put the comments across the screen for it. So hopefully you'll understand and I know some of you other that are mothers out there will understand the children and whatnot. Not that they're, I mean, they're, they're behaved, they just, you don't need to listen to them asking questions and asking for snacks. And a lot of the times too, on a bigger project like this, I don't sit down and do it all at once. I will do some an hour here and an hour there just when I have the time to do it because I am pretty busy with, with my girls. So this is where I decide to go back in and I want more pink on the bird. There was not a lot of the pink showing through. So just got some acrylic paint and started painting it on lightly. Um, put a nice coat there. I do want, I don't want, I didn't want it very bright. I only wanted the pink to show through the gray, um, but using the sprays, the pink kind of got uh, completely covered, and I did want to be able to see a little bit of the pink on the bird. So I put another coat of the pink, and then here I am going in with uh, the warm gray color just to cover up some of that. The bird took the sprays and the acrylic paint really nicely. As I said, the body was foam and the wings and tail were like canvas burlap and there's a lot of texture in the bird even after I've applied all the color to it. These are a couple of sticks I pulled out of my garden. Uh, just little tiny branches. I needed something to sit the bird on so he was above the moss um, but not too high. Uh, so pretty much just putting a coat of white acrylic paint over top of them then adding a little bit of the gray afterwards just to tone it down I didn't want the stark uh, white of just the plain white acrylic paint so adding the gray uh, did a nice job of toning that down
Okay, so now I'm just taking some of that Spanish moss and just, and the bird, and just taking a look and making sure it is looking the way I want it to actually turn out. And I'm pretty happy with it. So what I did at the bottom here was I just cut a, a circle out of a piece of tissue paper and laid it in the bottom because I didn't want the Spanish moss falling out everywhere. Um, so I put that down, and you will see that in one second here. And then I dripped, I held the glue gun over top of the birdcage, and I just dripped a bunch of hot glue in the bottom of it, and then put the Spanish moss inside and just started pushing it down just so it would stay where it is. It didn't necessarily have to be glued down, but I just wanted to make sure it was uh, not going to fall out all over the place and cause a huge mess. Now I am trying to figure out, I've attached the bird, the bird had a little uh, clip underneath, underneath him, stuck to him. So I've just put the clip on one of the branches and then I realized I forgot to put his tail feathers in. So I'm uh, just going to get the hot glue here and stick his tail feathers in, glue them all on there, get them all secure. That was pretty easy. I like the way the feathers turned out. They, they're mostly grey with that hint of pink that's showing through, not the bright pink that they originally were. Uh, but just enough pink that it does definitely show through the gray. So the trick here was getting the sticks where I wanted them to go. Um, idealistically, you have a thought to that, but then getting attaching the bird on there once the stick was in there was not easy. And then, of course, the stick wanted to turn so that my bird was doing a nosedive in the cage. So. I took a lot of playing around to actually get this to glue and for the bird to stay where I wanted him to, but I did get it. Uh, so after I got that done, I did add a couple more um, extra sticks just so, uh, just to add some more texture inside the cage. I'm now adding flowers to the top of the birdcage. I wasn't going to add anything up there, but it did look like it needed something. So I'm just using, uh, there's some I am roses in there, some bigger ones and some of the tiny ones. There's some cream of flowers and a couple of those darker pink ones are just miscellaneous rosebuds that I pulled out of my collection. And I had sprayed them uh, with that creamy beigey color and as well with the pink to get them to stay along the same uh, color line of what I wanted.
adding, I've decided to do along the bottom on the side a couple more smaller flowers just to add something else down there. I, I, not that I think it needed it, I just, I don't know, maybe I just like flowers. Uh, so I'm just getting a couple, another, the smaller I Am Roses flower, there's a small Prima, and then one of those miscellaneous uh, darker pink rose buds, with, which when I sprayed them with the cream color spray, um, I toned them down quite nicely and they, they did definitely match the other colors in the project. As I said before, I am really, really happy with how the birdcage turned out. Uh, I haven't done anything like this before. I've made a couple altered boxes and altered canvases, but nothing um, kind of 3D and, and like this. And I really, it was fun to do, number one. And number two, I really like how it turned out. I've decided I am keeping this one for myself, and I'm not going to give this one away. Normally, I will give my projects to my friends and family, but this one's going to stay here in my craft room, I will find somewhere to hang it. I don't know where. Um, I don't have a lot of space in here. Um, but I will find room for him because he's, he's pretty cute and I like it. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate the time you guys take to watch my videos. And if you haven't already, I, I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm hoping to start getting some more videos out more on a regular basis, definitely weekly. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a private message and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.